Huge news from Microsoft. You can now describe what you want to automate with everyday words and an AI engine in Power Automate will automatically create it for you. Then it's just to customize the flow and hit publish. I'm Anas Jensen. Let me show you how you describe it. AI builds it works. For now, this new feature only work in US based environments in Power Automate. It's fairly easy to create a new US based one. Just go to Power Platform Admin Center, then click Environments, choose New, and we'll give our new environment a name. I'll call mine Anasjensen Org. Set the region to United States. The type, let's just pick a trial and then click Save. That's it. We are ready to go. Navigate back to Power Automate up here. Click environments up in the upper right corner and choose your new environment. Now you will have the you described it AI build it. Just click create and you'll have it here. In case it doesn't show up, just refresh the page. Now let's go try it. So I click this flow and then I want to describe what I want to have built. Just use everyday words so I can say when a new email with an order is received, create a task to follow up and send a message in Teams. Then I click this little arrow and Power Automate automatically suggests one or more flows. I can peek this flow to see if this is something I want. Just click this little eye here. Here I can see that we have a trigger. A Power Automate flow always have a trigger. And then it will have one or more actions. Here I can see I create a planner task and I post something in a Teams channel. This is exactly what I want. So I just click Next. Here we need to make sure that we have connected our apps. So you can see here, I've connected all my apps previously. I can just click next. Now we need to provide the flow with some basic settings. The first two ones, that is about my planner. So I can click here and then choose my planner group ID. I have several ones. I'll take the honest planner. Again, uh, the planner plan ID. I only have one in this group, so I'll pick that one. Here I can specify how I want the team posts to be post and I can click this little one. Let's just pick a user that will be myself like this. Now I click create flow. There you go. The AI engine automatically created this flow for us. It uses the open AI codex to translate our description into code. That is the same codex as GitHub Copilot uses, if you know that one. So this is a working flow, but we want to customize it a bit before we send it into production. In the when a new email arrives, type in inbox. That's the folder I want to look in. Then click create task. And instead of the subject, I want the preview of the email. So I will go scroll a little bit down and choose the body preview from the dynamic content. Let's also give it a yellow one. So I'll take that one. Now I'm done here. I'll get my profile. That is fine. And then I'll post a message. So instead, uh, I'll not post it in the chat with a flow bot. So I'll click the select here and choose a channel. Then I'll wait a few seconds. Here I'll choose my team. My company is named Anas Jensen Org, so I'll pick that one. Then I can pick a channel. I'll pick new orders. Now I just need to put in a message. So I'll say nice. We received a new order. Then I want to say recap. And again, I'll just give the preview of the email. So I'll find it here in dynamic content like that. And then I can say assigned to and then I can pick my own name. Scroll a little bit up and then find display name like this. Our flow is ready. Why don't we test it? So I'll click save. Then I hit test, manually test and we are on. 
So now our flow is live. It will be live until we turn it off and I'll test it here. So I'll send an email message from my other screen. I'll click send and in a few seconds, my flow will trigger and we can see everything works. My flow is running. And if I open up the post message in a chat or channel, then I can find the team's message link. So I press control, click it. I will then open up Microsoft Teams. There you go. I can now post to Teams. And if I go to Planner, I will have a new task here that says, hey, Anders Jensen, and that is a preview of the email. As you can see, even with the you describe it, AI builds it, we need some basic power automate knowledge. Click this video here that will teach you everything about power automate and all the nice features we have here.